Welcome back guys, welcome back to another game of 2K, welcome back to the channel and thank you guys for, for your support and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and do leave your talk in the comment and let me know what you think and let's get on with the game. The bottom line is you can't look too far ahead. You gotta stay in the moment and enjoy the ride. I wish I had done more of that when I was playing. So the opening lineup for the Timberwolves at the forward spots, it's Edwards and Towns. MP is out there with Mike Conley, and it's Gobert in at the center spot. Well, Smith just has to learn to deal with this. Pro defenses won't be shy about putting contact on you. Pass to MP. Back to Conley. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Shangoon. And here's Porter. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. And here's Tate. Pass to Shangoon. It's blocked by Gobert. And they get it back. Green for three. Drills it from deep. And you can see Smith has the vision. Now, it'll be interesting to watch that part of his game continue to develop. And guys, what I like about the Rockets, they have stockpiled talent. I know they're young, but they focused on getting as many pieces as they can. Now here's Porter. Here's Shangun over MP. And Shangun gets it to go. Great recognition of the mismatch of using the small defender poor guy. So what do you think the most important thing for young teams like the Rockets? Well, B.A., it comes down to playing time. I mean, Houston has done a great job of playing their kids. But let me tell you guys, nothing substitutes for game time in the NBA. Learning by playing, that's what it's all about. That's just the bucket well, that you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss those. To halt the run, and Edwards the bucket on the assist by Conley. Yeah, we've seen Conley do this forever, running the point with precision. Outside, Green. Pass to Tate. Outside, Porter. Just five to shoot. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Mike Conley. Well, you know, after he was jettisoned by the Cavaliers, Kevin Porter Jr. getting a second chance here with the Rockets. And they put the ball in his hands and believe in him. And Kevin Porter with an opportunity in Houston now to learn from his past mistakes. Well, B.A., controlling his turnovers, now still a work in progress, but all these early reps will serve him well long term. Now here's Towns. Doesn't go, and he's 0 for 1 from the floor. 1 of 5 to start the game. They have to slow down and just play their brand of basketball. Green with the ball. Now guarded by MP. And it's hammered home by Green. Let me tell you this. If you've got a vertical leap of 40 inches like Green, you're just going to be able to glide to the rim like that. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Pass to Towns. Now here's Conley. He's guarded by Porter. Edwards, a pass to MP. He takes it in. Releases. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. MP showing his toughness right there on that drive. Brown falls for him. Both teams deciding to change it up. He does not get the second one. And just continuing to impress at every level. Smith Jr. was a five-star recruit, led Auburn to a great season as a freshman, and he's just starting to tap into his potential now. Tries again. Towns. Back to MP. Right wing. Outside Conley. He's now one for two with that bucket. Smith Jr. with incredible upside grip. And he's got the work ethic to make it all happen. Yeah, he really does, B.A. He's a humble guy. He puts in extra time at practice. And it really shows in his skill set. Just very advanced for his age. Here's Porter following the score by Minnesota. Two minutes remaining. Foul called on MP. Two minutes. That's his first Minnesota. foul of the game. 
So for the Rockets, MP. Kaminsky. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach of the Rockets. Green. What's up? They took me out for a second. We're getting hammered. Free throw, no good for Green. Well, you know it takes courage to draw charges. These guys get trucked all the time, and they still call a blocking foul. You think more of those should be no calls, Grant? You know, be encouraged is the right word. If you're willing to step in there and sacrifice your body for the sake of the team, you know what? If you don't give them a charge, I'd call them no call. Ah, come on. Come on. Nah, nothing. Oh. Thank you, Gobert. Oh, wow. I only got one point. Man. Oh, come on. You got to be kidding me. This is looking bad. And if he's just joining in, one half is in the books, one half to go. Nice game. Great performance by 
Jalen Green. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they definitely change their approach in the second half, and this is his success in the team. Kicking off the second half, here's Chris Lynch's call. Oh, 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 oh,
That's wow. And from the two guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. And from the team's perspective, having your off guard grip on passes like that, it's awesome. It shows you have to learn to give up the rock. Seven points only. We haven't been scoring at all. Oh, that's how you went in between those guys. Okay, that's that. That's cool. Oh man, man, man. favorite game. Last one. That was out. What the? No, that's not in. Ah. What's up with this guy? I mean, how do you box a guy out like Towns? Is it injured? Three minutes into the fourth now. Tight tape. Pass to Green. Eleven feet out. 
Mm -mm. That's not going to go for him. And Minnesota the other way with it now. Town. to make my guy faster. Why was that? Thanks again guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in the next one.